You want me looking at you? Okay. Back here at the 2015 Big Sky Media Kickoff. We're on the coaches' live stream, day number two here for the Park City Marriott. John Oglesby, and we're joined by that coach in Northern Arizona, Jerome Sowers. Coach, thanks so much for spending a few minutes with us. It's great to be here. Thank you. Hey, we're, we're happy to have you. So you and I were just talking before we got started. Your 18th season at Northern Arizona, your 30th season in the Big Sky. That's quite a distance of years there. You know, I, I've been honored and, and humbled by the opportunities that Northern Arizona University has given me, and uh, it's been fun. I mean, you look over the years, three decades of competition in the Big Sky, which I think is one of the greatest conferences in the country, regardless of the level. Great competitiveness, great coaching, and uh, it's just I, I really love this level of ball. In order to be a head coach somewhere for that long, it takes some principles, it takes some, some steadfastness in what you're doing. What are some things that you've tried to really set to be the culture in Northern Arizona football in your time there? Well, like everybody, we seek excellence, not just on the field, but in the classroom, off the field as well. I think our program over the years has evolved to a type of program where you know, we can expect excellence in the classroom and in the way that they prepare for academics and uh, you know, the, the amount of work that they're doing in the community service. Is we did over a thousand hours of, mm -hmm. of uh, community service last year. And, and I think that uh, we've become more competitive year in and year out as uh, you know, we're more of a cycle type team. You have a bunch of seniors and you're mm -hmm. good one year and then fall off. But uh, I think our recruiting has improved that model and the, the improvements of our facilities and the program under the leadership of Dr. Lisa Campos has enabled us to, to be more competitive. So we're excited about what's coming. Yeah, you finished seven and five last year. We're really in the hunt for an FCS playoff berth and struggled a little bit at the end of the season. What were some of the feelings you had at the end of the season? Well, it's kind of a strange year. Yeah. I mean, we could have gone two and ten or ten and two. You know, there's <laughs> that many close games, yeah. and it worked out that way. Uh, we knew we had a lot of young players, a lot of new faces in our lineup, and uh, we needed them to gel. And at times we did, and at times we were less consistent. And I think those times is what cost us. But you know, we won a lot of tight ball games. Our, our players have learned, you know, what it takes to win, and you know, we had some tough losses as well. So you know, some that uh, you know we have to do a better job of this coming year. How thin is the margin of error? in a football game in the Big Sky Conference? Well, when you talk about a game of inches, it, it is absolutely that, and it has been. You know, you have to, to really work hard at every possession on offense, and you know, every defensive break you can create you know, gives you an advantage in a game. And, and it's competitive with the type of parity that's in our conference now. Uh, it's important to be consistent every week. You're pinis, er, picked rather to finish fifth in the conference by the coaches. You're picked to finish sixth by the media. How do you feel about that? I mean, is that something you could use as a motivating factor for players? Or I think that more so for the players, yeah. the coaches. I mean, we, you know, what's behind us is behind us, yeah. and we'll look, we've learned from what we need yeah. to learn from, but it's really moving forward. And you know, this time of year, it's great for the media and the fans to have things to talk about and to, and to project out. But as far as we're concerned, we're, our eyes are on you know, what's right in front of us, and that's having a great fall camp. John Oglesby joined by Northern Arizona coach Jerome Sowers. Coach, what are you most excited about for this upcoming season? Well, I think we have a great group of guys. I mean, they have uh, strong team chemistry. The camaraderie is outstanding. Uh, we have some uh, new additions to our coaching staff that have added a little different flair to what we're doing, and uh, it's been fun to watch them work. I mean, we haven't worked as hard, uh, and, and we seem to keep uh, setting milestones that way each mm -hmm. year of improving and, and setting the bar higher. So I'm excited to see how that transitions and converts into you know, what the season performances look like. Given each of the coaches a chance to kind of answer this question, I want to do the same thing. What's your message out to your fan base as we're just a few weeks away from starting fall camp? Well, if you haven't noticed, you know, the Big Sky Conference is yeah. great parody and great mm -hmm. games and week in and week out, doesn't matter who's playing who. You know, there's no, uh, there's no easy wins in this one. Yeah. And so uh, if you want to watch some exciting football, that's it. And, and I, we've added some changes. We're evolving on offense to open things up. And uh, I, I, I really believe it's a lot more fun to watch and certainly hopefully more competitive and, and more effective in what we're trying to do. Awesome. Well, that's the head coach of Northern Arizona, Jerome Sowers. We're going to take a short break. Then we'll be back in just a moment here on day two of the Big Sky Media Days live stream.